I was screwed out of my championship match at WrestleBration and I was screwed out of my tag team championship match and it was all because of Brooklyn. So you better watch out because our paths will meet later on down the line and next time you won't be so lucky. while the rest of the stars of UKW walk on hallowed ground. This is UKW Mayhem. joining you for tonight's episode of Wrestling Mayhem here on the Sports Channel Network and before we get going with the wrestling action we are going to hear from Mustafa Khan. No indication as to what Khan is going to say but make no mistake about it it is sure to have an impact on tonight's proceedings and proceedings going forward here in UKW. He certainly has met a big list of enemies. Having some technical difficulties here with McCann's microphone. But the, uh, the point that Mr. McCann made, certainly a valid one. Edward Crowley has made a lot of enemies here in UKW. And Mr. McCann has offered the challenge, a tag team match. And, uh, well, wait one second, we hear the, uh, the air raid siren here. I mentioned at the, uh, the top of the program that we had the return of a monster looming here in UKW and right there in the entranceway we see the return of this monster known as Crater. The heavyweight star of World of Sport Wrestling is here at UKW and apparently he has something to say. Mustafa Eat! 
interested in what every one of these idiots thinks of you. Operator said it making me thanks here in his return to UKW. That's why you're no longer the UKW champion. That's why I'm here. I'm here to leave you lying. I'm here to take the UKW Championship. And I'm going to show you what a real monster can do. Crater certainly making his intentions known here. He's come for that UKW Championship, of course, held by Jonathan Sedgwick. Well, Mustafa Khan removing his jacket. Mustafa Khan wants to fight right now. Crater, though, not making his way to the ring, but what he has done is certainly laid down the law of the land to Khan, and you have to think that Jonathan Sedgwick is somewhere in the building, and he's heard that challenge as well. Mustafa Khan as he leaves the ring here made a challenge of his own offering to team with Jonathan Sedgwick, a man that he's only recently reunited with in the uh, terms of friendship to take on Edward Crowley and Sheik McToom. Edward Crowley however has his own business to take care of on this episode of Mayhem. Edward Crowley is up next going one-on-one -on -one with Tommy Dillon as we send things down to our ring announcer for the introduction of that match. Well, as we get things kicked off here in our opening contest of this week's episode of Mayhem, Hallow Ground, Edward Crowley is a name that we have heard multiple times already this episode. He's going to open up our contest, our first contest, excuse me, against a man that he has a lot of history with as of late in the wildcard, Tommy Dillon. Edward Crowley, of course, responsible for this confusing mess of a situation with Rex Savage and Death Row and everything that's been going on with that recently we've seen on our screens recently on Mayhem. You have to imagine after everything that happened at last month's Wrestling for Mental Health Awareness show, the wild card Tommy Dillon will be in a rush to get his hands on Crowley. Disturbing, unusual character. A man that, as we heard earlier on from Mr. Khan, has made a lot of enemies here at UKW. Last time we saw Tommy Dillon in a UKW ring, of course, he was going one-on-one -on -one with Rex Savage, a man who he believed to be the death row character that had been tormenting him for months. Although we saw at the conclusion of that match, Edward Crowley emerged from the entranceway with another death row, further adding confusion to this situation. You have to wonder, after everything that's been going on with Dillon in his personal life, where his head at, where his head is at, stepping into this match with Edward Crowley. Tom Dillon, one of the more popular members of the UKW roster. As you can see by the adulation shown to him by the crowd as he steps into the ring with perennial rival Edward Crowley.
We are getting set to go in our opening contest here at Mayhem. The referee performing checks on both Dylan and Crowley. And uh, Tommy Dylan performing a check of his own, making sure that everything is on the level with the referee. We are looking set to go. Bell sounds, we are underway here for our opening contest. And two men with a great deal of history between each other, Tommy Dylan and the Crowley. Colin, what's happening with the ring? Both men. Well, Dylan shoves Crowley off. Crowley doesn't go much, uh, go, go much distance there. Both men of uh, relatively equal size. Another call on a tie up. Crowley this time. Backing Dylan to the corner. You see right forearm across the jawline of Dylan there. Crowley's going to have to be very careful with the count there. Edward Crowley perhaps uh, unwise to turn his back on a man that he's angered so much over the last few months. I mentioned at the, uh, the start of this contest during Dylan's entrance that uh, he may be in quite the rush to get his hands on Crowley, but so far it's been an almost tentative start by Dylan. Side headlock applied by Crowley. Again, you have to wonder where Dylan's head is at after all the uh, the confusing situations, all the occurrences that have been going on in the life of Dylan recently. Crowley has a very tight grip on that side headlock. Dylan's tried to shoot him off a couple of times now, and both times Crowley has managed to uh, put a foot on the brakes. Third time, apparently is a charm, spins on Luther into a, into a uh, wrist lock, short on clothesline, second time, Crowley's still on his feet. Dylan is using those clotheslines to back Crowley to the corner though. Dylan looking to get ahead of steam, comes charging, big running forearm in the corner. Crowley still on his feet, however, Dylan comes off the ropes, Crowley ducking underneath the clothesline. Back elbow misses, baseball slide through by Dylan, and he drop kicks Crowley in the small of the back, and Crowley rolls to ringside. Dylan, well Dylan went to come off the apron with that double axe handle, Crowley able to move out of the way and now this has just degenerated very quickly into a brawl on the arena floor here. Both men are going to have to watch the count as Crowley introduces Dylan face first into the ring apron. Knife edge shot by Crowley, not a huge amount of impact, but there was a big amount of impact on introducing Dylan face first to the steel ring post. Dylan now struggling to make his way back inside the ring. He's have to watch the count. Crowley comes charging and his boots Dylan all the way to the floor. The referee is up to eight here. The referee is up to nine. And Tommy Dylan just beats the count at the very last second. Crowley more than happy to try and take a count out victory there. Crowley now is dragging Dylan round ring from the uh, the ring with the uh, kind of throw by the head. Crowley gets a two count early on. Face first into the turnbuckle who goes Dylan, and then now Crowley with his foot across the throat of Dylan. Tommy Dylan hasn't been the same the last minute or two after meeting the steel ring post face first. Got him able to look in gut range. Suplex takes Dylan over. Crowley not opting to go for a cover now. Instead of applying what appears to be a camel clutch right in the center of the ring. Great ring positioning by Crowley. The ropes are nowhere near Tommy Dylan. Crowley dragging Dylan to his feet. Sh shoves him in the back into the corner. Crowley comes charging. Dylan, however, drop toe holds Crowley. Crowley goes underneath the bottom turnbuckle. Not the strongest defensive move from Tommy Dylan, but it may be enough to at least create some separation here. The 
referee issuing a standing 10 count to both men. Both men struggling here to get back to their feet. It's uh, Dylan who's by far taken the larger amount of impact throughout this match, however. And it appears to be Dylan that makes it to his feet first, incredibly. Crowley joins him, both men up. Dylan, going Crowley off with a pass for those shots to the midsection. Just a big right hand to the jaw of Crowley by Dylan. Dylan now shoots Crowley off the ropes. Shot to the midsection. This goes to the side. Swinging neck breaker. Not quite sure how much of that Dylan got. It's enough to get a cover, but it's only enough to get a two count. Tommy Dylan opting to not hook the leg there. That may be to his downfall. Charging, running, shoulder tackle into the midsection in the corner. Now a back elbow. Dylan looking to put Crowley away in our opening contest here on Mayhem. Hooks him up, front face lock applied. Mayhem's going to pull him through, takes him all the way down. I'm not quite sure how much he's got. And it's again only enough for two. Tommy Dylan so far cannot keep Crowley down for a three count. Perhaps an air of frustration creeping across the face of Dylan now. Crowley certainly on Dream Street. Dylan shoots him across. Crowley with a reversal. Sends, whoa, sends Dylan into the referee. Not quite sure how accidental or on purpose that was by Crowley. Perhaps a desperate act from a desperate man. But either way, the referee is down. Crowley, though, swing and a miss on Dylan. But Dylan's got that skull. He's got that, that I'm not quite sure what it's made of, but he's looking to take it. Boozling the referee, the referee snatching the skull off Crowley. Crowley processing his innocence. Dylan behind him, he's got that claw hold, claw hold on the top of Crowley. Crowley, leg sweep by Dylan, comes off the ropes. Flying Bulldog takes Crowley down, middle of the ring. Tommy Dillon catches a big win here over his nemesis, Edward Crowley, in our opening contest. It might have taken a little bit of subterfuge, a little bit of deception by Tommy Dillon, but after everything Crowley has put Dillon through over the last few months, who can blame him? And quite frankly, that is a big measure of revenge in our opening contest for one, Tommy Dillon, your winner here tonight on Mayhem. Well, here we go. It's our main event on this week's episode of Mayhem. The UKW Women's Tag Team Championship is on the line as we await the introduction of the challengers. Jody Scorpio in the red and black, Georgia May in the blue. They will look to become the new UKW Women's Tag Team Champions here tonight. But they have a tall task ahead of them. Unseating two champions have held that goal for over a year. Our Jody, our, excuse me, our Jody Scorpio and Georgia May up to the task here tonight at Hallow Ground. We will soon find out. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, the current UK West 
of the defending champions. I mentioned that these two have held the gold for over a year now. Two young women who at first didn't exactly see eye to eye here in UKW. However, it is a championship reign born out of respect for one another after all the wars that they went through. Another big challenge for the champions here tonight. Through the rocks in the red, pink, and black. Alfie Rogue in the, uh, I guess, camouflage colours. Putting the gold on the line here against two young rookies here in UKW John Scorpio and Georgia May. Sounds we are underway for our main event here on Mayhem. Rogue and uh, well, we, we, we're not uh, getting, we're not <laughs> taking any time, excuse me, to get underway. Alfie Rogue and Johnny Scorpio are just trading bombs here straight away. Uh, Scorpio making a rookie mistake, sending uh, Rogue into her own corner here, firing off a shot to the, the into the back. Schoolboy roll up by Scorpio. Luna Rock's just coming in, she's not leaving. Unless I saw a, a blind tag there, but she came in and she floored Scorpio. Rogue boots the arm away. Needs the midsection of Scorpio. European uppercut. And Jody Scorpio is rocked very, very early on here, possibly making a big mistake, trying to get the jump start on Rogue. Rogue is charging, shoulders to the midsection. Rogue to take Scorpio over, vertical suplex. Scott goes down, middle of the ring. Rogue makes the cover, hooks the leg, but only good enough for two. I believe uh, Scorpio may have used the hair there to take down Rogue. Arm drag by Scorpio. Catches a second arm drag, almost a Japanese arm drag that time. This time it's Scorpio with a suplex and she dropped Rogue high and tight on the head there. Scorpio now makes the cover, hooks the leg in the middle of the ring and once again only good for two. Both these women have been the only legal participants in this match so far. You would think that Scorpio may think about tagging out to a partner after the abuse that Rogue gave her earlier on. But right now Jody Scorpio looks to be in control. And now Scorpio illegally, I might add, choking Rogue on the bottom strand there, on the bottom row. We have to keep an eye on the uh, the referee's count. Notice as well the entrance of Scorpio and May that there didn't appear to be a huge amount of chemistry between them. Meanwhile, Rogue catches Scorpio with a sling blade. And again, it's only good for two. Lynn Rock's legal for the first time in this match. Boot to the midsection, boot to the knees, takes Scorpio down, boot to the side of the head by Luna Rocks. Obviously not going to recover, winds the arm up. Hangman's new snack breaker takes Scorpio down and Georgia May in the ring for the first time, breaking up the cover there and giving a back elbow to Rocks. And a close on the referee's going to have to gain control here because Georgia May is not legal. The referee is going to have to do his job here and get May out of the ring. Well, the referee has lost control of this one very, very early on. Alfie Rogue is back legal again. All four competitors are in the ring here. 
The champions crisscrossing each other a couple of times for strikes in the corner. The champions are firmly in control of this match. Looking to shoot the challenges into each other. The challenges collide. The champions may be looking to finish them off here in, a, uh, in short fashion. Champions, Irish win the challenges off the ropes. Stereo spine busters from the champions. Rogue makes the cover. And again, it's only two. I believe it's still Rogue and Scorpio that are the illegal participants in this match. Ty brings Rocks back in the ring. Rock's going to finish her off, Fireman's carry, Scorpio slips the back, the champions collide, and Georgia May is legal now for the first time in this match, comes in illegally I might add, but immediately eats a spear from Rogue, Scorpio gets booted off the apron. May finds herself in trouble now, there's the tag, Alfie Rogue legal, Luna Rock's lifting May up on the shoulders, Maybe look for that Samoan drop, one footed drop kick combination from the champions. There's the hook, there's the count, there's the three. Well, it is another successful championship defense for Luna Rocks and Alfie Rowe, the inexperience of Jody Scorpio and Georgia May and a seemingly lack of ability to follow the basic rules of tag team wrestling has led to their downfall because it's Rocks and Road that are still your UKW Women's Tag Team Champions. the match technically and Jody Scorpio seems rather perturbed about it wait a minute this hang on Leone Rose has, has come in and Jody Scorpio has just abandoned Jody Scorpio has abandoned her her partner or Queen's Court from Leone Rose dumps Georgia May on her head what is this about why is Lonely Rose, who's not exactly popular in the women's division in the UK, as it is, why has she attacked Georgia May? Jody Scorpio walking out on her tag team partner here. Georgia May is, is all alone here, and once again, when well, she's taking her up, she's looking to big vertical suplex from Lonely Rose. What is this about dropping her? Dropping a leg across the throat of May. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, this is a head scratcher for me, but Leonie Rose, seemingly unprovoked, has attacked Georgia May and left her for laying in the middle of the ring. Well, she's looked, Leonie Rose looked like she was about to leave. She's come back into the ring for, I'm not quite sure why, but once again, it's going to town on May here. Another vertical suplex. Someone needs to get in there. The official needs to get in there and actually do something about this. Just Georgia May has been dumped repeatedly on her head and her back. And well, I mean, Leone Rose has made a statement here. As ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this episode of of UKW Mayhem. This has left us with more questions than it has answers.